lot of people ask me where I get my clothes from or my style from and since you know I have a YouTube channel I'm like why don't I just tell y'all it's a uh, your boy so this first look is very laid back not too much stuff going on while still having you know that element of cuteness and still trending with the times if you do want to still be in but different because that's what's up you feel for the next style I do have two options for you guys the first option to this piece was just an army jacket complemented with just a plain midway black body dress so it's not too out there and then another outfit that's very similar and I did wear a little while back you just same dress different hat and then I have this vintage windbreaker that actually my father did get at the World Cup Olympics in 94 so I mean yeah you probably don't have the same jacket but something similar is always good so this jacket here is it's really loud it's pretty big so if you wanted to zip it up you know be prepared to have that like Missy Elliott bag chubby look but it's all good cuz we pop it this look I really did get quite a lot of compliments on it's a jacket that I picked up in the men's section of forever 21 like the beginning of this year so you may not find the exact same one but I mean do not be afraid to shop in the men's section because their stuff is nice you just gotta know how to wear it if you want it to be masculine that day let it be like who cares and then if you want it to be like girly while still being in the men's section do you go it's fairly thick thin not that big and I do have this one in a size small because it is from the guy section it's gonna be big already I just finished that outfit all together by throwing it with a pair of leggings and my white converses and it's cute so this next outfit here is actually one of my favorites from this whole catalog I kind of just threw it together in a rush one morning before my 8 o'clock class and it came out pretty bomb I got this cute little crop top from make me chic it is just like a little nice, uh, what is this called? What is this called? Damn, what is it called? Halter top, there we go. It's a low back and I paired that with my Adidas sweats. Ding. This barrette, cutest thing in my freaking life. I've wanted one of these since like the day I was conceived. <laughs> oh, I got this from my grandmother's closet and I've always wanted one so yes I'm a little Picasso with it I got this for like 10 bucks at the army navy store get you one the only problem with army navy stores is they're basically like thrift so you really have to look but I mean do I have to say anymore this fit so cute was um actually one of my choices for when I went to the Kanye concert the other day love him I paired that top with this coat here, which I got in Italy um, last summer. I think this was from Milan. Oh my gosh. I absolutely adore this jacket. And if anything ever happens to it, I'm cuss somebody. But it was handmade. Finally, I just finished the whole outfit off with these black semi-high-waisted jeans that I have. And they are distressed. Do not remember where the hell I got these from. But they're cute enough. They're not the best, but they work. <laughs> this piece here was just like a new pickup, so I needed to wear it. And I didn't necessarily wear this to school, I wore it to dinner. But you can very easily dress this outfit down with some like cute sandals and call it a day. It's just a creamy off-white dress. Ding. And it's like mid-thigh length. It does have a bit of a little turtleneck thing going on here, but just like the bare minimum of a turtleneck. I got it from Forever 21 on a whim. I'm pretty sure it was on sale and it was like 17 something. So less than $20 for this really cute dress. I say yes. And it's just a body fitting dress, that's all. Nothing major, but still cute. If you look closely at the actual design, you can see it does have a little bit of a stripe type thing going through it. Then I just paired the dress with this also new pickup, a leather jacket. Well, it's kind of leather. This one was like $35. I think it was also on sale. I've always wanted a leather jacket, but couldn't find one that like fit right that I actually liked. This one, yeah, it's pleather-ish, but like, it looks good, so I'm cool. Quick disclaimer, if you are wondering where I got these heels from with the with the whole pleather dress outfit, finally for the last outfit, which you have all seen before, it was in my last video for the Hurricane Matthew Aftermath. I thought it was pretty cute, so I'm like, let me just throw it in, even though you've seen it before. I'm wearing this low-cut halter with like a little watermelon on it that I got from Wet Seal for like $9.90, something like that, paired with this little vintage looking Asian type pink flowery 
koi fish looking, like that's what I get from it. It's kind of like a silk bomber, like if you can see the material. And that's from like an Asian thrift. So I'm sorry if you, like, you know, we're kind of hoping to find this one. But I'm sure you can find something really similar. Charlotte rouge -ish. Like you can, yeah, you should probably find something similar. And I just paired it with this little peach hat that I got from Forever 21 for like 10 bucks. These annoying little bad boys are from Traffic. I actually did get them for the low, low price of $1. They were having a big sale going on, buy one, get one a dollar. So, that's what I did. Last disclaimer for all the hats that you did see me pair with the rest of my pieces. This Jean LA hat, I have had for years. This black Miami American flag hat, nothing like amazing going on with it. My parents do own a clothing store, so I did just grab it from their store. That's everything. I don't really have an outro catchphrase, so. Peace. Bruh, keep going, bruh. Ding. When you wanna come in? Bruh, just go, bruh. Right now, hurry up. Hold on, do it. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Wait.